अब लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट आईसीएमपी आईसीएमपी स्टैंड्स फॉर इंटरनेट कंट्रोल मैसेज प्रोटोकॉल सो दिस इज आल्सो ए नेटवर्क लेयर प्रोटोकॉल आईसीएमपी इज ऑलवेज यूज्ड अलोंग विद इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज आईपी द प्रॉब्लम विद इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल इज it is a connection less protocol let we have a network like this here we have host 1 is the source one where as host 2 is the destination host so in between we have two routers such as r1 and r2 let host 1 wants to transmit a packet to host 2 during network layer in network layer the packets can also be called as datagrams so here host 1 is transmitting uh, a datagram to the host 2 but during the transmission there may be a possibility that the datagram or packet may be lost but here the problem is if the packet is lost due to any problem then there is no way to report to the source host in ip so we can say that ip is a unreliable protocol why because if the packet is lost due to any problem then there is no way to uh, to report about that error to the source host so in order to solve this problem we are using icmp by using icmp what the user can do is uh, we can report only the error messages to the user uh, we can control the errors but it is not possible to correct the errors icmp is always used along with ip internet protocol so icmp protocol uh, the provides error messages to the source host but error recovery error correction is not possible here error correction is not possible okay uh, controlling the errors that is possible here but error correction is not possible uh, so let's see the table here the first column represents message type so different types of error messages we have and the second column represents description so why that error has occurred so here we have two types of messages first one is error messages and the second one is query messages so first let's see about error messages so we have mainly 1 2 3 4 5 five error messages they are destination unreachable time exceeded source quench parameter problem redirect or redirection so these are nothing but errors various these th these three are query messages so these three are not errors so in order to provide uh, some statistics information about the network uh, we are using these messages these are not error messages so query messages echo request and reco reply time stamp request and reply and the third one is router advertisement or can also be called as router solicitation okay so first let's see the first one that is destination unreachable so here host 1 wants to transmit a datagram to host 2 so host 1 can sends the packet to r1 now r1 can sends the packet to r2 but r2 is unable to send the packet to the destination that is nothing but destination unreachable if the destination host or destination router is unreachable so here this router is unable to send the packet to the corresponding destination so that message is called as destination unreachable so now what router 2 will do router 2 will send destination unreachable error message to destination unreachable icmp message to the host 1 so now what will happen host 1 can uh, sends the packet or can sends the datagram one more time with proper destination address okay so here what is the description about this one 
packet could not be delivered okay so that is about uh, uh, destination unreachable so here r2 will discuss that packet and r2 will sends destination unreachable icmp message to the host one so host one rece after receiving that message it will sends one more packet with proper destination address uh, to the uh, corresponding uh, destination host and the second one is time exceeded so what is the second icmp message time exceeded so here what will happen is uh, every packet will have a time to leave field ttl ttl stands for time to leave field so let ttl field value is 2 so here root host one is transmitting a packet with ttl value 2 uh, so, so now r1 receives the packet upon receiving the packet r1 decrements ttl field by 1 so now the packet ttl field will become 1 so now r1 transmits the packet to r2 here upon receiving the packet the router or host will decrements time to leave field by 1 so now the time to leave field will become 0 so whenever ttl value will become 0 then the corresponding router will sense time exceeded icmp message to the host so whenever time to leave field becomes 0 then the router will simply discard the packet and sends time exceeded icmp message to the host one so now it is the responsibility of host one to transmit the packet one more time okay so this is the first reason so let's see the reason here description here time to leave ttl field hit to zero and one more reason is uh, let we have a large packet now that large packet will be will be uh, fragmented into several parts so let we have a large packet so this packet is fragmented into five smaller packets but all those packets belonging to the same destination ip address so whenever a router receives a packet then it will set the timer so all the fragments of the packet uh, should reach to the router r2 within the time only suppose if the timer expires that means uh, here r2 is unable to receive all these fragments within the stipulated time period so whenever the timer expires then r2 simply discards all those fragments all those frag fragments and sends time exceeded error icmp message to the host one so host one has to transmit the packet one more time so these are the two reasons why we why icmp time exceeded message will be generated now let's see the third one source quench source quench so this is generated because of two reasons first one is congestion second one is flow control so let us assume that at router 2 there is a too much of traffic there is a too much of congestion so at this time router 2 sends source quench icmp message to the host one so if there is a too much of traffic or congestion immediately the router will discard the packet after discarding the packet it will send source quench error message to the host one so by observing that message host one knows that there is a too much of traffic at uh, uh, the corresponding routers so uh, the corresponding host one will send uh, one more packet or it will wait for some time because here there is a too much of traffic so that's why the host one will wait for uh, some period of time so after that period of time it will send one more packet to the router two or there may be a possibility that flow control so flow control means uh, here the host one is sending the packets at a faster rate whereas at every router we will have some queue but this queue capacity is very very limited so here router is unable to store all those packets in the queue so because of that some packets may be lost so uh, so whenever the packets are losting discarding then what will happen router 2 will sense that uh, congestion that flow control icmp message to the host one so now host one will stops sending the packet for some period of time will slows down for some period of time after that it will send uh, one more packet to the router two so this is about source quench uh, and the next one is parameter problem here the problem is invalid header field 
so we know that every packet uh, will starts with some header every packet will have some header so let there is a ambiguity in header field so that means some bits of the header field are modified so at that time what will happen router will simply sense parameter problem icmp message to the host one so if there is a problem in the header field so first router discards the packet after discarding the packet it will sense parameter problem icmp message to the host one and the next error message is redirection redirection here host one uh, wants to transmit a packet to uh, host to uh, but let we have here different paths here uh, host one can sense uh, like this also so here what is the first part host one is sending the packet to r1 r1 sends the packet to r2 r2 sends the packet to host2 uh, we have one more path host one can sense the packet to r3 r3 can sense the packet to host2 let host one transmit at the packet to r1 but r1 knows the complete uh, geography of the uh, corresponding network why because every router will have routing table routing table provides the information about uh, the nearest uh, routers also let us assume that this is the best path in order to transmit the packet so once r1 receives the packet it uh, discards that packet and it will sends redirect icmp message to host one so that message will contain uh, that r3 is the best path in order to transmit that packet to the host two so after i after observing after reading that message host one can transmit the packet to host two uh, via r3 uh, these are the error messages okay so whenever an error occurred then the immediate then the intermediate routers or intermediate host discards the packets and after discarding the packet it provides a corresponding error error icmp message to the source host so now source host can provide uh, another packet to the uh, corresponding host to whereas the remaining three are query messages so these are mainly useful in order to know about uh, the performance of the network okay uh, so the first one is uh, uh, echo request and echo reply so let us assume that host one wants to uh, wants to know about whether host to is uh, alive or not so for that purpose host one can sends echo request to the host to so upon receiving the echo request message host to can sends echo reply message to the host one so once host one reads that echo reply message then host one came to know that host to is alive so check if the destination check if the mission is alive or not and the next one is time stamp request and reply same as the echo but with time stamps so in order to know the performance about the network okay uh, let uh, uh, host one wants to know about how much time it will take for transmitting a packet to host two so in order to know about how much time it will take so it will sends a time stamp request to host two so upon receiving that host two will provide time stamp reply to host one so it is mainly useful for how much time the packet will be transmitted from one source to another destination and the next one is router advertisement or this can also be called as router solicitation so it is mainly useful in order to provide its routing information to its nearest routers let r1 wants to provide its routing table information to its nearest router that is r2 so now r1 can use uh, router advertisement advertisement or solicitation message so that means r1 is providing its routing information to r2 so this is about uh, internet control message protocol icmp protocol in network layer